Welcome back to Same Old Gossip Reheated. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Subscribe, like, comment for the algorithm. If you're looking for a new hot game to play, I've made a game for you, your family, and your crew. <laughs> Jump down in the description. The first link will send you over to withoutgoogle.store, make a purchase, and have fun when you get it. Now, this is not a trending topic, just something that I've been noticing. Now, earlier this week, uh, what's his name? Fredo Banks comes out with a video where the pastor at this funeral, uh, you know, is speaking some discouraging words about the person who passed away and then he's peeing on a casket. And we got here today to celebrate this fuck nigga. He thought it was a game. Now we smoking his ass up. You want to be a op? So you get drunk. And you know, it's just more murder, murder, death, death, kill, kill music, right? We know, we understand that we're here, right? And just like on the flip side with the women, we understand that we're here with the selling of your bodies and don't do it for free and the bag and the body and the head and all that, right? We understand where music is at. Now, only reason I'm bringing up this is because some other stuff popped up. Now... Glorifying death, murder, killing people, right? Have you guys been seeing the outlining of a dead body with the money, with the stacks of money now? Now, the first time I seen it, it was finesse two times. He said, oh, I don't even need a gun to kill my enemies. Hey there, trivia lovers. Get ready to embark on a journey through black entertainment culture, sports, and fashion. Can you answer these questions that'll take you back in time? Question one. In the world of music and entertainment, what's the name of Beyonce's first solo tour? It was the unforgettable Dangerously in Love tour. Question two. In the realms of music and fashion, can you recall the song Tupac performed at the Versace Fashion Show? It was the legendary California love. Question three. Turning to the sports arena, how many games did the legendary Kobe Bryant play during his NBA career? It was an astounding 1,346 games. Question four. In the world of cinema and family fun, what was the name of the amusement park in the movie Bebe's Kids? If you guessed Fun World, you are correct. Get ready to challenge yourself, family, and friends as you dive into a world of trivia. Visit withoutgoogle.store to get your own trivia game today. It's your passport to a world of knowledge and fun. Yet he's on the ground representing the dead body and the money as the outlying chalk, right? Then I just seen some random boy, like face down, like a Trayvon Martin, because that's what it made me think of. And he did the same thing where he put the money outlined itself. And I'm just, like I said, I know we're here, but what is the... <sighs> Why are we still glorifying death so much? Like, is that it? Now, I asked this before. Now, you can jump in the comments and go wherever you want to go with it. Are we, as black people, are we not creative anymore? Are we losing our creativity due to chasing the bag? Due to wanting to appeal to likes? Because, don't get me wrong, I understand there's people out here who make amazing art. They make short films, films, uh, paintings, good, great rap music that speaks to you. But it doesn't get a light shined on it, you know, from the mainstream media. So I understand that people are still creative out here. But what I'm saying is... Is anybody going to be bold enough to be that creative that's going to step outside the box 
in the mainstream style because when you think about it no we're not gonna ever get that because we're in a dog eat dog world right now and resources are scarce although everybody wants to pretend as if no it's some money out here you just gotta go get it you gotta go know you gotta know where to do you gotta know how to go get it you gotta know you gotta hustle you gotta grind you know i know that's preached to us but the average person isn't getting up doing the grind and all that you know and the average person is who keeps society thriving the mega rich don't not even the regular rich. They don't keep, because they're such outliers in the everyday of everything that they can't keep the society going. I guess what I'm getting at is, are we uh, putting our dollars towards what we want to see? You get what I'm saying? So, you know, they say kids are the main demographic for the likes of a Fredo Bangs and the young crowd and the hip hop and all that. But if the everyday person is keeping society thriving, then why are all we seeing is murder, death, kill, and then the girl sell her body? It makes me think because you see this all the time, right? When I say you see this all the time, I mean it like, You'll see, like, for example, Kiki Palmer is, she put out a song, you know, I pay my bills, I'm a boss, I'm a this and I'm a dad. And you see everybody in those comments saying, woo, 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 that's what's up, girl, yeah, LLC, all this other stuff, right? And then, so I'll do experiments like, I'll go and I'll just see, right? When a girl like, this is my jam, click on her thing. Like, if this is a... Uh, a, a song that you say you like I want to see it in your story I want to see a video or posting especially if you one of those people who post every day right so I'll go to a random person's page she said this is her phone song and go to her story nothing's in a story right go to her landing page boom right there booty all in the all in the camera shaking it up to whatever little young rap song that's talking about shaking up the booty right and it's like oh so you a lot of us are just talking and even when you think about this Fredo Banks thing if you guys can recall or if you ever seen the um podcast with Joe Budden and him on it right he was talking about like, I'm just glad I'm out of that. I want my girl. I want to go on vacations. I want to spend money because he was in. And, and, and it's so crazy to hear him be so young and say this type of stuff because he said he was in a state where he didn't care about nothing but killing people, wanting people dead because he had experienced those type of things in his younger life that now that he's touching some money, he wants to live normal like a normal human being so you know I, I that's the only thing i'm talking about though like what like is it a decline in our creativity are we actually paying to want to see this stuff what are we really doing you know as a people and when I say as a people, I'm just meaning like all of us. Because here we go again. When we think about it, we talk about how, oh, white people fund this stuff. And, and, and I can agree with that. I can get down with that. But what I'm saying is, yeah, they do fund it. But it takes our eyes and stuff to get it popping. And we fund it as well. We'll put our money behind it. We'll, we'll buy CDs. We'll go to shows. It's not like we not going to shows and... Um, you know, keeping these people in the algorithm and keeping their numbers up to where somebody's like, oh, okay, all we need is eyes to where we'll give you a million dollars to keep people here. We just need the eyes. We just need the attention. And what I'm saying by that is if you don't know, like, um, you know, everything is clocked. And when I say everything is clocked, it's like uh, timed. You have You'll look at something, right? And while you're just looking at it, maybe you notice some orange shoes. Maybe you notice, oh, where do I get 
a hat like that at, right? And we're talking about one little picture or video on Instagram or something like that. On the, on the back end, they're clocking you and saying, okay, they've been here five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Okay, we got them here for a minute. We've been here. They, okay, they've been here for two minutes. Oh my God. Oh God, they're three minutes. And then you max out, right? So if they can get your attention for those three minutes and now, okay, oh, I'm just randomly cooking some, you know, sausage, chicken, whatever. Now I go look at my phone and, they have it right there. What I looked at 12 hours ago, they have it right now on my cookies on another website. That Oh, I was looking at those shoes. Let me go and buy those shoes now. So if Fredo Bangs can keep us looking at him for three minutes to where we can then go and go buy those shoes, even a whole nother day after we not even putting the connection together that where I seen those shoes and now I'm being pushed to buy them now. That's why they need our attention. And that's why people are willing to pay for it. So although we say the whole white people support this, they need our eyes. <laughs> and then when we go and buy the shoes, right? We confirm these are the cool shoes to buy. And now when other cultures see that these are the cool shoes to buy, now they go put their money into buying the cool shoes. You see how it all just goes together? You know? <laughs> now... With that, right, and I, I said I was going to do this before I get out of here because I had wanted, when I seen the outlines of the chalks and the bodies and all that, I had wanted to know the history behind the outline chalk. Okay, so it says history and modern use. While chalk outlines were occasionally used in the past, they often were drawn by the police for press photographers, not for investigative purposes. It allows the press to take a picture and represent the scene without a gruesomeness of a body. So when you think about the history of it, right, and say, okay, they the outline represented so they didn't have to see a, a head blown to bits, body, guts hanging out. That's what that represented, right? And when you see rappers just lay in the outline, it's like, are we to care anymore? That's another question. Are we to care anymore that black people are, you know, getting shot down? Are we to care that somebody shot you down? The rappers? These are just questions that I'm asking. Let me know. Let me know. 